I just really want to get to the other side of all of this. Harry and Meghan share very private moments for this docu-series, like this video of Meghan with no makeup captured days after they said goodbye to royal life. I don't even know where to begin. Charlie Langston covers the royals for the DailyMail.com. It's a very difficult thing to hear a couple saying again and again and again that they want privacy and they want to be left alone. But at the same time, here they are releasing a fairly intimate look at their life behind closed doors. Some folks on social media share that opinion. After all, Harry and Meghan have been fiercely private over their children. But in the docu-series, we see Lilibet and Archie. I got a doing foot, mama. Harry and Meghan also discuss their courtship, which we've heard a lot about but have not seen until now. Meghan and I met over Instagram. Someone who was a friend had this video of the two of them, it's like a Snapchat. Oh, um, gosh, just that whole thing it starts like the, dog ears. The dog, and the dog ears. And That's what he saw of me. We get to see their trip to Botswana, which was date number three, and Harry's proposal to Meghan in the gardens of Kensington Palace with Meghan's dog Guy by his side. He's down on one knee, and I was just like, yes, you're so joyful and excited. There's also been a lot made about the relationship between Meghan and Kate. But in the doc, Meghan barely mentions Kate, except to talk about the first time they met. I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that that is really a jarring for a lot of Brits. The formality on the outside carried through on the inside. I think those who are already critical of Meghan and Harry will likely have seen this as being something of a desperate attempt to try and change the narrative. I think that people who are already fans of them and have remained fans of them will have very much enjoyed seeing this intimate portrait of them as a couple.